I've just found that people find time for the things that are important to them. And when you hear someone say like, oh man, I wish I had this, or I wish I did that, or man, I just, I want this. Like, no, you don't. Like, what do you mean? You don't, you don't want that. Like if you wanted that, your actions would show that and your actions aren't showing that. So, you know, prove it to somebody with your actions. Big difference between saying what you want and actually proving it. And it's interesting how in a structure where you're adding more to your plate, how you'll end up getting more stuff done outside of what you're normally doing and outside of what you're adding to it. And a lot of that comes from this realization that there's so much wasted time throughout the day that there's so much time where you're scrolling through social media or you're watching TV or you're, you know, having just random conversations that aren't really amounting any to anything. All this time where you looked at your life as being busy, but weren't really accomplishing much. You have so much more time in your day that you don't realize you're wasting. And if everybody here, if you literally did this and 99% of you won't, but if you literally did this where you put an alert in your phone where it alerted every 30 minutes and just said, what are you doing? And you took a note, just write in your iPhone in the notes, like what you did the last 30 minutes. You would realize that you probably have four hours, maybe more, of just stupid, stupid, mindless, distraction, non-income producing stuff, right? Because once you see it, and if you're honest with yourself, and you can see these different times where you're just wasting, you're just wasting the day away, then you have the ability to take it back. But you can't take what you can't see. So you have to be able to see it first. And putting an alert in your phone and having that pop up and taking an honest audit of what did I do over the last 30 minutes uh, is gonna be a great, great, great way uh, to do that. Here's what it really is. You gotta figure out how much your time is worth. True. And so how much is your time, if, if, you're, if you're running on all eight, 12 cylinders, how much is that time worth? Right. Is it worth $100 an hour? Is it worth $50 an hour? And then take every single situation, every single task that you have in front of you that is below that and either eliminate it or delegate it. It's just, for me, it's, it's most important right now in allocating and prioritizing and in justifying <laughs> what I'm choosing to spend my time on. Because we all choose what we spend our time on. A lot of us get in this mentality that we don't think that we have a choice, but you choose what you spend your time on. Well, my boss wanted me to do this. That's fine. You still have a choice in whether you are going to do that or not. Well, my spouse, my kids, my this, my that, it's all a choice. It's all a choice. And those choices added up over time are what's going to create a life that you either designed, created, or that you just let happen. People find time for what's important in their life. <laughs>